smoking puts you at risk for many different kinds of cancers. Is this correct? Absolutely. Um, smoking uh, not only weakens your immune system, but also changes the susceptibility of the cells in the cervix to the virus. So smoking is definitely an important risk factor. What about it weakens immune system? Also chlamydia is another risk factor, correct? So I would say uh, that sexually transmitted diseases in general, general. because with one come multiple. Mm -hmm. And now mm -hmm. multiple term pregnancies, doctor, that puts you at a risk? Likely, um, not, a, not a direct risk, but it's, it's, a, it's a function of, of sexual exposure and sexual activity, for example. And there are also some changes that happen in the cervix as a result of being um, continuously or repeatedly pregnant that would increase its susceptibility to the virus. Okay. Now, is there any genetic risk for people with family history of cervical cancer? So that's a great question, and in fact, um, I think that's a bit of a, a misconception amongst okay. the public. So cervical cancer is not thought to be at all a genetically related disease. It's really to do with infection in the, of, the, of the cervix with HPV. So if there is a family history of cervical cancer, the high likelihood is that that was just multiple different individuals through so the course of their lives. Coincidence, exactly. Okay.